The brake press is used to shape flat plate over a die by applying force through the upper punch. This ram is connected by a rocker arm. This rocker arm moves back and forth, and that's pushed by a hydraulic cylinder there. Knowing that our bottom V block is two and three quarter inches wide, safe to say that half of that is one and three eighths. I'm going to take our ram control selector switch and take it from off and turn it on. The AP2 switch is a programming function that opens a separate control panel that allows us to program the back gauge depth stop to operate automatically for multiple bends and production runs. Now that we have the gooseneck punch installed, let's have a look and see what it does. There we've completed the 90 degree bend. On what the shear is, it's one of the oldest, most basic mechanical means of cutting great big huge plate down into small stuff here. Inside the machine here, we've got a mechanical back gauge. That back gauge moves in and out. And we used to set it to cut either our width or our length of our plate. Up here on the control panel, we have a couple of buttons, the forward and reverse, which moves the back gauge in and out. Until I can see both marks on my shadow line. I'm gonna get my foot pedal ready, put both hands on my plate. Thank you. It has five separate stations over here. Starting over here, we have a punching station. Over here, we have a section shear. This one here is a section of an angle iron. The bar stock shear is designed to cut solid round and solid square. Down here, we have a flat bar shear. And lastly, we have a Coper notcher. And there we've made our notch. Down here, we have the four roll double pinch system which means that we have a front roll and a rear forming roll. The pinch roll moves up and down, and what it does is it pinches or secures our plate tightly up against the top roll. I'm gonna bring it through so it just passes the back roll a little bit. I'm gonna go over with my sweep, and I'm gonna check it. This is the horizontal bandsaw. It's used to make square and angular cuts. The blade usually rides on two rotating wheels while the head assembly slowly descends and cuts through the metal. Let's have a look at this weld seam here. Weld seam on the inside as well, it's very hard, it's very brittle. And if we attack it with the blade on this side, as it comes through, one of the teeth could easily get ripped off. Set the selector switch from hold to feed, and wait until the machine comes to a complete stop before removing your finished piece. And remember, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to see your instructor.